vlog in. And in this video, we're in the Lake District. Uh, more specifically, we're just outside Keswick. Keswick is about five miles down this road behind me. And we're at Ashness Bridge. Now, anybody that's been to Lake District and been in a souvenir shop will have seen this bridge. I think it's the most photographed bridge in Lake District, if not a wider area. And um, it is on every postcard you will see in, in, in the shops. So today, we're here. I've never been here before. Um, and we are going to see at this bridge. So, what have we got? We're in the Burrowdale Valley, so we've got hills all around us, and we've got this river running right down through us. So what we're going to do is try and slow down this water so it, it kind of gets that a little bit of milk in this, a little bit of movement in that water. Going down on the bridge, I, I specifically moved my tripod to a point where, yes, my feet are getting a bit wet, because I've worked out I've got a leak in one of my shoes, um, but I want to see through the bridge a little bit so I can see out the other side rather than take it from an angle at the side where you just get the depth of the bridge and you can't see through it. And also behind the bridge we've got we've got the lake there with the, the mountains with the clouds and the sky in the background. So we, we're going to try and do that. It is raining uh, but sometimes in the rain you, you do get a better image because you know the clouds are moving around, the light is moving around a bit more and the rocks are wet so they've got a little bit of a sheen to them. On the camera itself, I've always got a piece of cloth over my camera to try and keep it a little bit dry. Um, so I've got the tripod set up in the middle of the river. Um, I've got, uh, I've got a, a Tamron wide angle lens. So this is a 30, sorry, 15 to 30. It's currently set at about 24 mil. On the front of that, I've got my Lee big stopper, which gives me 10 stops of, uh, of movement in the water. And also I've got a polarizer and the reason for the polarizer is just to try and take a little bit of reflection off this water but also to try and bring out a little bit of definition in those clouds. So let's take this picture and see what happens. Now I'll just put my uh, give that a quick rub before I go. Just make sure I've got no drops on the on there and it's all set up. All I have to do is push the button. Now what have I done here while that's taking? Well first of all I'm shooting at f10 because I want quite quite a bit of depth in this uh, in this image, um, and also 30 second exposure. That's the bit really big software that's doing that. Just started to rain again, so I'm just going to put that over the front of there. The ISO is set as low as it will go natively, and on, on a mind if I'm doing this, that 64 ISO, and hopefully that will give us a, a reasonable image. So let's take a look. So yeah. As we expected, we've we've kind of got that water moving nicely through the frame. It's leading us in from predominantly the right-hand side of the image down through into the bridge, and then if you go down to the bridge, your eyes are drawn to some extent to the um, to the to the hills and the uh, and the clouds behind. And the lake is just nicely glistening in the distance. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, we're going to do some more on Lake District, so keep keep watching for our other videos. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed it, please leave us some comments down below. There's a button just there as well that you can use to, uh, to subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to watch some more videos, try these two because uh, they've, uh, they've been picked from our channel that um, hopefully you'll enjoy those. Um, until next time, thank you very much for watching.